Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but where did the fountain go? Tired of sitting still and healing all day, the fountain has decided to become a hero and go off adventuring. Only, where is it going? It is a little confused, but it's got the spirit. For best effect, record this without playing it first. And so we did. Thank you very much to Ace War 7 for making the mode. And we're gonna get into the games. But before we do that, <laughs> I haven't shown you guys uh, my game in a little while, in case you don't know. Like I'm working on a video game, it's called Sweet Dreams Alex. And it's it's just a cute little kind of like puzzle slash construction game. And we've been working on it kind of like silently in the background and I haven't really shown it off in a bit. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to show you what the game is like right now for just a moment. Now, let me let me go ahead and be clear about this. This is always still work in progress, right? And we're still still working on it. It's still gonna be improved and so on. But I just really like what we've got and I wanted to show it off a little bit. So here we are. This is a level of the playground world. Now, Sweet Dreams Alex is gonna have seven different worlds. And each of them kind of has their own theme and their own gameplay mechanics. The playground world is all about building bridges. That's the idea. So you can see that in this level, um, you, well, actually, maybe should start from the beginning a little bit. Um, so the primary goal of Sweet Dreams Alex is that this is Alex and this right here spawns a nightmare. And the nightmare is trying to get to Alex. And our goal is to prevent the nightmare from getting to Alex. That's what we're trying to achieve. And uh, usually you do that by building a labyrinth. But in the playground world, you do still need to build a path. Because if you just play the level back without there existing a proper path to get to Alex, then you lose the level. Right? So you need to build the path. But you need to build it in kind of the longest way possible. And for that, you have a bunch of structures available. And I kind of wanted to showcase them to you a little bit and, and show you what it's all about. And um, yeah, I don't know, hopefully you like it. So this right here, again, is a level in the playground world. It's a bit of a difficult level. Um, I'm going to take you through as we build this stuff. Uh, but just keep in mind that this level appears a little bit later in the game. Uh, I just It's a nice showcase level, I think. So yeah. Anyway, you can see we've got Alex right here and we've got our uh, nightmare portal right here. So we need to make sure that we buy enough time, meaning we kind of build around as much as possible. However, the problem is that over... Oh, uh, sorry. But something we can use is that these right here, these are lunchboxes. If a dream or if a nightmare spots a lunchbox, they want to get the lunchbox, right? Usually they want to try and get to Alex as quickly as possible. But if they can get a lunchbox instead, they'll prioritize the lunchbox. I mean, who doesn't want the lunchbox? We have a bunch of structures available over here. So the first one we have are these jumping stones. What the jumping stones allow nightmares to do is allow them to jump from one jumping stone to the next one, as long as they're no more than one space apart, right? So I can, I can do this. So they are right next to each other. But the yellow one and the purple one, these two wouldn't properly connect because they're too far apart. Then um, we have some additional structures. For example, we have the playground structure. This right here is the playground structure. And the playground structure comes with a bunch of stuff. So it has this platform and it has a bridge which you can build and it has like you can put down a bunch of these platforms and then it has a slide which you can put down. And you can see now we have built this little bit of a nice little, I guess, playground structure up there, right? We can go ahead and uh, also, for example, put down balloons. Balloons allow nightmares to step on them and allow you to kind of build stuff on them, which is uh, very convenient for us because it allows us to kind of like fill these spaces in a way that is... Uh, that is good. Although I think I probably built this kind of poorly, but that's okay. We'll figure that out as we get through it. Now, the playground structure has uh, these connected pieces that are individually useful, right? So for example, the slide allows uh, the nightmare to go to a spot, but then not go back upwards. Um, so it's kind of like a, a one-way street, right? If I put down a slide here, it can only go down the slide, but it can't go back up the slide. 
And you can connect this slide with uh, a bunch of other stuff, for example, right here with the stairs. So now the things can actually get up there. Or if you want to put the stairs a little bit further away, you can then connect all of this using, um, for example, here, something like this. So you have a bridge and then a little platform and then you go into the slide, which I think is kind of nice. Okay. So we need to figure out how do we best build this. Again, I think I've actually built this a little awkwardly. Here we go. This is better. This saves us a balloon because we only have five balloons and we need to be careful with them. What do the balloons do? The balloons let us build um, in empty space. So somewhere where you wouldn't normally build, right? And that is really useful. That allows us to do pretty much anything we want. It's kind of crazy how useful it is. All right. What we need to do now is we need to figure out how do we get down here um, and what do we do around here. So what I'm doing right now is I have the nightmare come up here and then spot this lunchbox. So then it's going to want to go to the lunchbox. So we need to enable that. All right. Now we can go to the lunchbox. Our playground, our lunchbox is Baumi 7. Hey, Sunrise. Thank you very much for the 47 months. Right now it can go up here. And now we need to make sure that it can leave this area as well, which is easy enough. There you go. So now it can go to the lunchbox and it can come back to its starting spot. So what we've done now is we'll have the nightmare looping around once. Then it'll come over here and we'll start spot this lunchbox. So we want to make sure that it then kind of like travels around down here a little bit before returning to this. And then finally, we also need to have an open path for the nightmare to actually get to Alex. Otherwise, you know, it can't get to Alex and that would be bad. All right. So easily enough, we could put uh, a slide here and then we can also put a slide here. So there we go. We've got a construction that would allow us to solve this problem. And then we can, instead of putting a slide there, we can put a tower. So now the nightmare can step on this, climb over here. And then if they want to go to the bottom, they can go this way. And if they want to go to Alex, they can go over here. And that saves us some more balloons. We always need to be careful of the balloons. So they'll come in here. And then we need to make sure that we are, um, that we have enough space to build everything we need because we need to come in over here again. So we probably want to see, okay, we're going to need a balloon. That's very good. That's fine because the time, the spacing here actually works out pretty nicely that we don't need a balloon again. And then we can continue building this here. And we can go like that and then we can put a slide. Now, doesn't that look fantastic? And then finally, for the last step, we just need to put some more jumping stones here so that the nightmare can jump in here. So if we play this back now, you can see the nightmare will breathe in and then jump using the jumping stones, go over to the right side the way we had envisioned it. Oh, it spots the lunchbox. Now it's going to go ahead and try to move over to the left side, climb up the playground structure. Then it's going to go down the slide. Nice. Slides are nice. Everybody's happy about using them. Jumps along here, picks up the lunchbox, eats the lunchbox, which is currently an animation missing. Don't worry, that's coming. It'll go down the slide over here, and now it's back to its starting spot. Cool. It wants to go back to Alex, so it's going to go ahead and start moving back over here. But then it'll spot the other lunchbox, climb up the stairs, and then go down this slide, which means now it's going to go to the lunchbox and then have to go all the way around again. So it needs to go over here, through this bridge area, go down this other slide, and then uh, continue jumping. There we go. We jump and jump and jump, and it's back to its starting spot. But now, hopefully, if we did everything well, you can see that the timer should be enough, and we have managed to keep the nightmare away from Alex until the morning comes. And that then we beat the level. And isn't it nice? Doesn't it feel like a playground? I don't know. It makes me really happy. Like that's something that I was aiming for. I wanted it to um, feel nice and, uh, you know, like it's like its own, like, you know, like it's a playground, you know. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, yeah, that's the playground world. It is, um, it is what we have been working on. Uh, that is one of the worlds that will be in the game. If you want, if you want to, um, you know, kind of like be part of this, if you want to like support us, or if you're interested in the game in general, uh, there's a link to the Steam page down below, and you can go wishlist the game, which would be really helpful. 
That would be fantastic. So anyway, uh, let's get into the games now. Don't worry, I've got Dota for you as well. But I just wanted to show this off because I'm really proud of it. Because, I mean, look at it. Isn't it cute? Come on, isn't it just, just adorable? But yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. All right. Well, it still seems to be here. Seems seems like the fountain is just here. Okay. All right. Well, so far I'm I'm okay. I'm not scared yet. Well, I am mildly scared, but that's just kind of my Sounds default state, like you know. <laughs> that's just me, but always. So that's okay. Where did the fountain go? The question is answered. Now we can quit. That is true. We did figure out where the fountain went. It's right here. It's right there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is it over here? There it is. We found it. We found the fountain. The fountain has been found. A fountain, you might say. Anyhow. It might just be an, an elaborate ruse to get us to play normal Dota. Who knows? Who knows? The Nord comes with me. Yeah, sure. What are the lanes? Hello. I thought I was going bottom with the Lich and hanging out with the Lich. With the Lichy boy. Is the fountain still there? Oh no, where did it go? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's, well, we, no, no, we, <laughs> where did it go? <laughs> Wait, the fountain doesn't show up on the minimap, right? Does it? I don't think it shows. I don't think it's a building like the others. It's not actually visible on the minimap. So we don't, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> where did it go? <laughs> well, that's not great. I mean, it might be okay. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, do we have to find it? My guess would be that it will find us. My immediate instinct tells me that it will probably not be too difficult to find the fountain. Oh, there they are! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that is horrible! I hate it! Okay, so that's the worst thing that I've ever seen. Um, so they're just... Oh, we gain vision of the area! Are they just floating around in the mid? Well, as long as it's just the mid, I'm happy. I just hope they don't come down here. That would be great. Like, please stay away from my lane. That I would definitely appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please tell me your favorite... Sleepy animal fact. And ideally go onto the Discord, discord.gg slash balmy, and put them into the fun animal facts channel. Because I am writing tutorials for Alex. And to make the tutorials a little bit more fun, I'm including sleepy time animal facts. And uh, if you have one, please let me know. Oh, thank you very much, my friend. Hmm. So this is not the best news, but it is the worst news. Ah! <laughs> oh! Nice. Good to know. Sick stuff right there. Hey, uh, thank you so much, Mimun. Wait, Mimun Tinu? Thanks for the two months. Appreciate it. Yeah, Twitch can be a bit annoying. I personally also use YouTube way more than Twitch. But to be honest, like YouTube is like kind of the main platform for what I do anyway. There's actually something that people, like, I feel misunderstand frequently. It's that, like, people think that I'm a streamer who uploads to YouTube. That's not how I see myself. No, 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 I'm, I'm a YouTuber who streams the recording sessions. That's it. Yeah. It's, like, a mild difference, I suppose, but it's still a difference. Okay, are the fountains still... They're still in the mid, mostly. Why are you guys near them? That just feels like a very 
faulty idea, you know? <laughs> Doesn't strike me as the, you know, best thing you could be doing here. Ah, it chases you. Well, that's unfortunate for you. I want to kill the fluffy hat. Oh, what? Shit. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Very good. Very good. Nice. Good job there, Lich. That worked out nicely, I gotta say. What do we buy? I got some life steal. I think I'm just gonna get like a civet. Civet is good right now, right? Oh no. N get that away from me. <laughs> you can't you can keep that one. I don't I don't really want to have anything to do with the fountain. Oh no. Hmm. Well, this is unfortunate, isn't it? Does the fountain have true sight? I would guess so, right? Oh, it's coming in here. Okay. Well, that's bad news. Yeah, you leave. Goodbye. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. Please don't attack our tower. Please don't attack the tower. Okay, we're good. Wait, there's a Queen of Pain right here, right? She blinked over here? No? Oh, she did! Hmm. Well, what do we do about this? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's even worse than a Queen of Pain! I thought it was just the Queen of Pain. But it is much, much worse. You can TP to Fountain. Oh, you can! Wow, that's actually incredible. Alright. I'm just gonna, like, sit here with my Fountain friend. It will keep me safe. It shall keep me protected. It is our mother Come here, Fountain. I shall... Oh, no, it's... <laughs> Farming all the creeps. That is not ideal, Fountain. It would be better if you didn't do that. No, if you could just, like, not... Okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Hello. Good. Quick little pick-off. No big deal. My mouse is acting up a little bit. Yeah, everything is falling apart. I did manage to fix my Q key, though. So now I can QQ again, you know? Is that still a thing that the kids say? <laughs> Do the kids know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Is that a guy there? No. Maybe. Possibly. All right, we'll get invisibility, which we can probably not use against the fountain, right? It does have true sight, yeah. Hmm. hmm. I kind of want to just stick to my mothership, have it protect me. It is just a big domineering little, <laughs> little beast, and I appreciate it like that. Ocean heart sounds good. Oh, wow. Oh, that is nice. The Necrophos can actually get these kills. What are you doing? Are you trying to get into our fountain? <laughs> You're not killing our creeps. <laughs> Sorry, curious, no creeps. No, 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 no. Wait, can I heal? No, I can't heal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's no fountain, I guess. So does that mean we heal underneath this? I didn't even check for that. I guess, yeah. Yeah, you totally get the fountain aura. Ah, oh, That makes sense. That does make sense, doesn't it? <clears throat> Radiant 
Does Mickey make the funny? No, it's been Tusky recently. Mickey has been busy with her studying and all of that. So Tusky has been doing the thumbnails. So if you have any any feedback for the thumbnails, you can you can tell Tusk. Tusky, 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 Tusky. Woo! Turns out stuns are good if you have a fountain backing them up. Yes. It is nice to just like sit next to the fountain and have healing. I, I gotta say though, I find Radiance to be a questionable item choice given the circumstances. <laughs> Feels like burst damage would be better than damage over time. Because um, we do have something that does a little bit of damage over time as well. That uh, will probably out DPS you. How will we push though? Well, we're just gonna do it while not being near their fountain. I think. Like, I don't know where their fountain is, but we're gonna be wherever that isn't. That's the plan. I think that sounds like a reasonable plan. Okay. Oh wow, that did nothing. Do you have a bunch of armor? Why did that do so little? Wasn't that a Valorous Punch? Hmm. Your bottom tower is under attack. <clears throat> Where's their fountain? That's a big important question as well. It's something we gotta figure out amongst other things. Oh, there it is. Hmm. I guess now we can't use our fountain anymore. I mean, at least not in the same way. We gotta kind of stay away from the whole situation for a moment. Oh, these now are long. Yes. Very good. We have long ice shards now. Which were, of course, tremendously better than normal ice shards. Right, double damage. Where's our fountain? Where's their fountain? Is the big oh, there's ours. The north comes with me. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, there must be somebody around. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Doing something. So right, I gotta wait a sec. I gotta wait a sec. I want to see if I can get that Queen of Pain. Because that should be killable. If you say so. Shit. <laughs> She's right underneath. <laughs> Come on! Get out from there! <laughs> <Storms are coming. laughs> Alright. It doesn't seem like I'll actually get a... Uh, get a virus punch there. That's a little disappointing. Okay, team is going hard. I hope the fountain isn't here, but I think it's coming. Yeah, so that's bad news. Oops. Ah! Okay, well, I got one of them. It's difficult. I couldn't move over to the right side. I needed to kind of like weirdly go in at a very <laughs> inopportune moment. Yeah, get him! Get him, Fountain! No, not the creeps. Damn it. Uh, not the creeps. I like how they're just friends. You know, they're just like hanging out, farming next to each other. I wonder what our Fountain is saving up for. Next custom game I want to play as the fountain. <laughs> I want it to be like a secret unlockable character. You know, like Master Hand in Melee. Just have to win a thousand games as Tusk. And then I get to play as the fountain. You 
God damn it. People are really not making this easy on me. This is one of ours punch some people. Like, what's so hard about that? Oh well. Yeah, that's a whole situation there. Oh no. Oh no. Time to go. Or maybe not. Oop. That's a bit scary. Sounds like a good idea. Did you unlock Sonic in melee? Yeah, you just had to play 600 event matches as Mewtwo. Easy. Easy. All day. Oh my god! Invisibility? Seriously? Goddamn struggle city. Oh, and they have detection too. Okay, well we got it. We got it! Oh wait, don't those give true sign? Like, I feel like there's like some sort of upgrade you can get that makes those- Oh no! Ah! Run! Shit. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Where's our fountain? Mama! There you go. Oh, Alright, I feel safe again. I, I feel protected. I am a snowball right now, which makes me feel less safe. Ah! Got it. Now the fun okay. Good job. I mean, our fountain is just crushing it. Ah! Never mind. Gotta go. Yeah! <laughs> Shit. I gotta go. I gotta go. I got that guy to like go into our fountain range, which I thought was kind of cool. But uh, then uh, it wasn't enough. It was close. But it wasn't quite good enough. You can actually get a four star so I can push people into the fountain. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sit with my mom again. Hello there. Now I feel safe and protected. Oh! Fountain doesn't attack catapults. Did you guys know that? <laughs> You always learn something new. Weird. Why wouldn't it? That is kind of strange. And I don't understand why, but apparently the fountain does not attack catapults. Noish. Time to push. Get out. Get out. No. Very good. Good job. All right, push, 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 push. Is there fountain coming? God damn it! That is like the worst timing. <laughs> no, go away. God, how are we supposed to push like this? Oh. What is it doing? Yes, it's protecting its base. That makes sense. But like, oh no, team! I'm so sorry. Oh god! Oh, I gotta go! I gotta go! It's still moving over here. I'm kind of hoping I can get the Dark Willow. If she oversteps, but it's not looking very likely. What do we want? MKB doesn't seem bad. Just some attack speed. Some damage. Oh no! <laughs> 
Get him, Fountain! Get to him! Yes! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Shit. I regret this. Oh, I guess uh, there's nothing to regret. What do we buy now? Got it. Got it. Why not? I feel like I need mana. Maybe I just get a blood form. On a fountain's random or what? I don't know. Also, hello, Rosa. Hello, Lola Rosa. Haven't you seen around in a bit? Uh, I don't know if they're, like, uh, properly random. It does feel like they're at least mildly targeted. But then again, I don't know. Because it, it does feel sometimes like they're responding to stuff. Ah! Up you go. <laughs> Very good. Very good. We have a lot of money. I'm thinking we should just get a blood fawn. Yeah. Oh no. Shit. Luckily we are now tanky enough that we can actually take a good amount of these heads. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> no, we can actually take some hits. Um, although... Not too many. So please leave. Thank you. That's very good. My sleep schedule fluctuates right now. I'm almost going to sleep. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's just like one of those things where... I don't know. I do actually kind of like notice like what people are here and what people aren't here. Right? It's kind of difficult to not do that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. And uh, when somebody stops showing up, I always kind of like slightly wonder. Hmm. But then I also don't go and ask because I feel like it's not really any of my business. Right? I just kind of hope everything is good. Alright. What are you guys doing? That's illegal. Alright. Who we'll pushes faster? Us, right? I can't. I need. Oh, I couldn't. Couldn't get close enough. I just needed one hit. Do I buy back? Oh, they're just pushing. They're just pushing. What the hell? Um, we need our fountain. It's actually kind of a mild problem that we don't have a fountain. Oh, oh, it's here. Oh, it's here. <laughs> It's keeping us protected! Yes! Thank you! <laughs> How dare I say we don't have a fountain? Of course we have a fountain! <laughs> How could we not? Ah, that's a shame. Grab this. Where the fuck are you? You aren't watching me play video games. Sounds sensible. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not like that, you know? But, um... But, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's kind of, like, what I feel like it would be like. So... You know? Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Well, the fountain came in and actually helped defend our base. So that's very good. Oh, shit. Gotta be careful there. Nearly level 25. Come on. 
this. <laughs> oh no. But we don't take that much damage right now. We can actually like... Oh, both of them! Oh no. Well, I guess nobody's gonna be happy about the way this will turn out. There's gonna be no winners here. Ah! Gotta go. The north comes with Lincolns. Oh, hello. Oh, I guess that didn't really work out quite as smoothly as you would like it to. I gotta go back. Need to defend us really quick. It's pretty easy to defend, luckily. You know. These ice shards are actually quite handy. Oh my god. How did I not think of this sooner? I can just kick people into the fountain. Why did nobody say anything? <laughs> that feels... I mean, is that not the most natural... Natural thing we could do? Oh, crap. Oh, no, that's not so good. That's not so good. All right. We hide in our fountain. Well, my team is kind of dying. I'm so close. Yes, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> no! So close again. Just one hit. Alright, I don't have buyback. So team, you gotta... You gotta keep this going here. I think the fountains are seeking out enemies, be they creeper heroes. I'm pretty sure the fountains are actively looking to kill things. They are not random. If they were random, they wouldn't be in anywhere near as many fights as they actually are. Because they are constantly near the fights. There's some sort of mechanism here. I'm confident that's making them making them actively look for things to kill. Although I don't know what exactly it is. Closest enemy in vision. That actually makes sense. The fountain was going to the bottom, but then creeps spawn here, so it's going here now. It should go onto the top left next, then. Yeah, it, it is. I think it is closest enemy in vision here, right? Could we use this, theoretically, to, like, bait their fountain away? In some sort of capacity? Because that would be useful. Oh, no. Yeah, and when they're traveling like this, then that's because they found a creep wave that they're looking to get to. Was that guy real? I lost a little bit of track. Hmm. I say. Got it. So what do I buy next? <laughs> Old plan. Your middle tower is under attack. Good. Yeah, Your middle tower. Okay, there's uh Well that's okay, we'll be fine.
the Marcy yeah, house at Desolator. We take these down like they're nothing. Hey, John Doe Tarson. Thank you very much for six months. Appreciate it. Oh, come on. Let's get Rax first. Oh, shit. Oh. All right. Does that hit through Inverse? <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh no. Their base is being defended by their fountain. Do we have megas at least? No, not quite. Not quite. All right, let's go. I just want to get this. Got it. Should be able to right now. Got it. Okay, just power sponge. Just power sponge. Come on. There you go. Just. Oh, I just want to get rags. <laughs> I just want to get rags. That's all. It's okay, we have pie bag in case we need it. Oh no. No, don't make the same mistake I did. Oh. Okay, well that's not great. The Dark Willow is a pain. Nice. We have revenge tonight. To the cold grave. Okay. I'll be right there. Just one sec. Alright, coming in. Coming in. Ooh, I don't like Ah, okay. I've got a few seconds on my TP. I'll come in in a moment. Just, just, a, just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. Oh, the hex. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, no. Okay. We still haven't gotten rags. <laughs> oh, it's so difficult to navigate around these fountains, dude. Like, that's legitimately just tricky. So the fountains are on their base now. Is that good? No, that's bad for us, right? We die. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh no! They got us! Oh. Fountain says you're gone. Hey, Doug Freeze. Thanks for the 52. The fountain does say we are gone. Oh man. I just want to do ranks. You know, you might say, Bobby, you could have just ended earlier. But yeah, but that would be boring, right? Like, you don't want to just end the game. Could I have? Yes. Did we? No. But I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. It was fun. Well, this game mode was wild. 
and enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.